Wild Apple. Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. No, we're not reviewing the camera right now. We're actually reviewing what's inside the camera. Now, this is an iFi card. This is the iFi Mobile, the latest and greatest from iFi. Um, the company itself has been around for a long time. They make quite a few different little products. This card will enable you to do the pretty much impossible before. Um, with this card, you can actually take photos or videos from your camera and place them on any mobile device that you have including your phone or tablet uh, works both with IBM and Mac and it's a great little item I mean I love this thing now for me the most I would use uh, my SLR I mean it was one of those things where I take photos and then I would have to pull the card out put it into a card reader stick it into the tablet download them to the tablet, then shoot them over to the phone, and it was a big process. Now with this little card, I, get, I don't have to do that anymore. All I need is a card, the camera, and my phone, and I can take the photos or the video and transfer that straight to my phone and do whatever I want with it, send it in a post or in an email or a text. So it's actually a great little product. It comes out really nicely. Now you can only do JPEGs with it. You can't do RAW files. And for those people who don't shoot in RAW files, it doesn't matter. Um, but with the JPEG, it'll work fine. That's most any photo. Now, the only issue that I had with it is you can only connect one device at a time. Now, you have to download a little application onto whatever you're going to put it on. If it's your iPad or your phone, uh, you have to download that application. There's a little code that comes with it. It's actually on the back of the uh, case that it comes in. And that little code, you type it in, and it links up to the Wi-Fi connection that this produces. Now, it pops up a little Wi-Fi thing as soon as you plug it in, and then you just connect with that app on your mobile device, and you're good to go. The only issues is that you can only have one device connected at a time, and if you take pictures and you're taking shots, uh, suddenly you stop, and you wait a few minutes, maybe you're adjusting your model, or you're doing something, uh, you're moving to a different area, while you're doing that, your camera's going to power off, and that will actually shut off the Wi-Fi. So if you're in, a, in an area where they already have Wi-Fi, your phone might jump to the other Wi-Fi, you know, to connect. Uh, so just be aware of that little fact. If you disable that little thing and you make it stay looking for this Wi-Fi connection, then you aren't going to have any issues. But uh, it's just a small price to pay. Now, with the cameras, you always want to make sure you have a camera that's compatible with your mobile device. Uh, for me, I've been using this Canon and I really love the video that it does. Uh, it's just outstanding video quality, but it records in a different format that is unknown to my iPhone or my iPad. So I cannot transfer the video format from the camera to my mobile device. But with this uh, Nikon, this is the Nikon L28, uh, the video files actually transfer very easily uh, they don't take up that much time and they work really well so I can transfer the video from this and I can also transfer the pictures and photos so it just depends on which camera you're using in conjunction with the card uh, to uh, send the video files but that's the only other problem that I had with it uh, overall it's worked really well uh, enjoyable to use and I love being able to take some of the photos that I take with my SLR especially when I'm using the big old telephoto lens on it and transfer them to my card and I mean they come right to my phone and I can just build the text up and send it off right away you know no worries or hassles or having to go home and plug it into the computer <clears throat> so with that I'm gonna give you a little bit of a demo and let you see how it actually transfers and uh, stay tuned for that Okay guys, so I started it up. I have to keep on taking pictures and stuff because if I don't, uh, the camera's Wi-Fi goes down and then the camera or the iPad automatically connects to uh, the other device or my network. So I just took a photo now. I'm going to take another one right after I take this one. It's already loading, but it takes about four seconds for it to download. Um, it's just a real quick little picture. You're going to hear a beep when I take the next picture and then you can watch it download right after that. So. That was the, the sound of the camera, took the photo, and there's the photo downloading. So it's actually pretty quick, uh, at least four seconds. Now, 
I'm getting a little glare off of this other screen, so be aware of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a video clip. I'm going to go start the video, and as I'm talking, you're going to hear the video or my voice in the other video, and we're going to stop recording. Okay, that was a small little video clip, very short, but you'll get the idea. Okay, now it's recording, or this is the AVI file, the video format. Now it gives you a little gallery up here on top that you can go through the photos that you've been taking. Like I said, if I stop taking photos, uh, the camera goes into like a, uh, a power save mode and it actually turns off the Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to go ahead and play that video for you. It should be loaded uh, and it's right there. Press the button to play. You're going to hear the video or my voice in the other video and we're going to... See, so it transfers the video file. Uh, you can do a little bit longer videos. The longer you do the video, the longer it's going to take to download. But you get the gist of the idea. Really great product. Like it a lot. Thanks so much for watching the video. You guys be safe. Take care. If you can, please subscribe, post, and comment. Um, be safe. Have a good one. I'll definitely talk to you soon.